Hello there guys and welcome back. You know, it just occurred to me that a lot of people don't know the history of the Levi's trucker jacket and it's really interesting so I thought today I'd kind of go through that with you and bring us from the 1900s to the current day. The first Levi's trucker jacket was known as the Type 1 and it actually was known as a blouse back then, not a jacket, until it appeared in an ad as a jacket and that's what it became known as going forward. Now you can easily identify these looking at the lot number which begins with 506XX. Now the earlier versions had a pocket with no flap. The flap was actually added a little bit later on so that can kind of give you an idea of which one you may have. The Type 1 also had a cinch back, which I really like, and they used a silver buckle up until the 1940s when they changed over to bronze. During World War II, the Type 1 underwent several more changes, including hollow buttons, because so much of the metal was being used for the war effort, the hollow buttons also featured laurel leaves as a sign of peace. Furthermore, the jacket went from five buttons to only four. Now the Type 1s were made with a pretty light 9 ounce denim, originally made by, I'm going to butcher this, Amos Kieg Manufacturing Co. Later on they changed over to Cone Mills, which we all know and love, and uh, unfortunately they're no longer producing salvage denim. These also had horizontal seams, which could be let out if you needed a little bit more room. And speaking of room, the early Type 1s, actually the Type 1s in general, were really cut with a boxy cut. Think of workwear, that's what they were back then. They weren't slim cut, fashion forward kind of thing that they are today. They were meant to work, and that's the way they were cut. And finally, they actually used bovine leather as a patch, rather than that cardstock that they use today. Now you can actually still find Type 1s around. Levi's Vintage Clothing is probably going to be the best source for all this stuff. After all, they were the ones who originally designed it, so you can still get a Type 1 from them. You can also get a pretty cool looking Type 1 that's a little bit different from Huckberry under their Flint and Tinder line, and it's a waxed flannel lined thing, but it still has the original look of that Type 1, except a little twist on it. Up next is my favorite, and that is the Type 2 Trucker Jacket. You can identify these by lot number 507XX, and there's just something about them just looks really cool. Elvis wore them, James Dean wore them. They had a lot of places in some pretty cool pop culture, and in my opinion, they just look the best. The Type 2 was introduced in 1953 up until 1962 when it was replaced with the Type 3. Actually, they still kind of made them after that, but just not as much. Now these added a second chest pocket. They also did away with that cinch on the back, which is unfortunate because it looks really cool, but they added those side adjuster tabs that you can see on almost every denim jacket today. The earlier Type 2s used an exposed copper rivet in places of stress. Later on, they replaced that with the bar tack. These also used that lighter nine ounce weight selvedge denim from Cone Mills, and they were cut just slightly slimmer than the Type 1. The earlier models had the nice bovine leather patch until they changed over to that sort of cardstock papery stuff. Those will be found on the later models of the Type 2. Now, of course, you can find a perfect replica from Levi's Vintage Clothing, but if you're up for something a little bit different, I have a couple of options for you. The first one is from the Flathead and their 6002W jacket. I'm not sure this is still available, but if you could find an example on eBay or somewhere on the secondhand market, they're really, really cool looking. Taylor Stitch actually has a pretty interesting interpretation of the Type 2 jacket. Now, there are a couple little variations and they made it their own, but it's definitely the Type 2 silhouette, although it looks like it's a little bit slimmed down and they made a few variations here to make it their own. Now, most common is the beautiful Type 3 trucker jacket. As a matter of fact, when you think of a denim jacket, chances are you're picturing the Levi's Type 3 in your head. You could identify these by their pointed pockets and the V-shaped going down underneath each one, kind of giving it that nice slim silhouette. These were cut much slimmer, and you could identify them by looking at the lot number 557XX. Now the Type 3 originally didn't have lower hand warming pockets. Those were added in the 1980s, but it's a welcome addition to something that makes the jacket just much more versatile. They also stepped up the weight using a 14 ounce Cone Mills denim, and it was just a much heavier jacket overall. Now it'd be hard not to find a Type 3 trucker jacket out there, but I have a couple of my favorite picks for you. Now my first selection is a grail piece for a lot of people. I know my buddy out on Instagram mentioned this, and that is the Ironheart IH526BJ. And on Unfortunately, they don't offer this anymore, but hopefully they'll bring it back because if you're going to buy one and you're going to spend the money, go with Ironheart. Next up is one of my favorite denim companies. That is Brave Star. They just came out with their 22 ounce slub noxious trucker jacket and it looks awesome. I can't wait to see this thing in person. I'd love to get my hands on one and they're actually pre-funding it right now. So you can kind of get it at a little bit of a discount, but that is one to watch. Up next is the Naked and Famous Okayama Spirit 3, which really needs no introduction. Another gorgeous piece from Naked and Famous. You can get those over at Tate and Yoko. So those are the three types of Levi's trucker 
her jackets. However, plenty of companies have taken one of those models and sort of blended it with another one, or taken one, you know, the silhouette and the overall look, and modified it slightly. And here are a couple of my favorites of those types. Up first is the pit jacket from Cambridge Denim. Now, this company likes to go outside the box quite a bit. They use some contrasting sleeves there, but there are other versions where, which are a little bit more tamed down, so you don't have to go with the really crazy stuff, but that's a really cool company. Definitely one to keep your eye on. Up next is the Mr. Freedom Ranch blouse. I like this one a lot. Again, just a slight variation, something that's a little bit different, but very, very cool. Now, here's one that looks really cool because it has absolutely no pockets on it. A very, very slick looking jacket, and that is the Edvin jacket from Livid Jeans. Now, this is kind of one of those companies that you probably don't think of right away when you think of denim and stuff, but you should because they have some really cool stuff over there and interesting takes just like this one. And finally is the Jacket Explorer from Railcar. You can go check these guys out at Railcar Fine Goods. They have some awesome heavy denim over there, but some other pieces that are a little bit more easily accessible as well that maybe if you're looking to sort of step into this and you don't want to go right into like the 32 ounce heavyweight stuff, that would appeal to you. So let me know which one of the three is your favorite in the comments below. We'll see what everybody likes here. I I'm betting that the, the type three is probably gonna come out on top because that's the one everybody likes, but I'm a type two kind of guy. I think it looks really cool. Let me know what you think. I'm really interested to hear it. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.